Hey, I'm Jordan Wright. This is Hocus Pocus for Players Network. I'm standing here at Jack McBride's House of Mystery, where inside, two of the world's greatest magicians teach the only magic and mystery school, Jack McBride and Eugene Berger, where students from all over the world travel to this house to learn from the masters. Magic pumps adrenaline into our system. And adrenaline is a mood-altering device. But it's being able to control that adrenaline, too, so it's not too much, either. I've been teaching magic with Eugene Berger for about 15 years. Uh, I was very fortunate to have uh, a lot of people help me out, like Denny Haney from Denny and Lee and the New York Masters, like Frank Garcia, Lou Lancaster, Bobby Baxter, uh, people that lay audiences, regular audiences don't know, but are very important to, to magicians because they well, they, they taught a lot of us, and I wanted to pass that knowledge on. There's just something inside of me that wants to pass that flame of knowledge down. We're going to be talking about this later tonight, talking about our stories and how we can take simple magic illusions and tell a story with them. Well, Jeff and I have known each other for a long time, and back in the very early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, he called me up and said that he wanted to put together a magic convention called Mystery School, and would I be interested in joining up on this project? And of course, absolutely, I was really excited about it. And that grew, uh, uh, we really connected with each other, and uh, uh, my specialty was close-up magic, and his was stage magic, and so there was a very nice uh, coming together there. The Magic and Mystery School runs about one week per month, either for three days or for a week. Storytelling is important. We live in a story culture. Did I mention this? You turn on the TV set, what is the TV set? It's the news, it's news stories, it's soap operas, it's stories, it's Jerry Springer with weird people stories. Freaky people stories, but magicians forget and they get they, they they hide behind the trick and they don't tell the story It's more important that Victoria tells that story about meeting that woman and that healing and do a little bit of magic trick than produce 20 doves out of a box since I've been in Las Vegas definitely uh, Jeff McBride and, and Eugene Berger have been very helpful to me. I've uh, come to a number of their classes uh, as a student and over time, because I was local, I would just try to keep in touch with them and, and uh, work with them as often as possible. And they gave me a lot of opportunity to perform and, and try to break out of my shell and, and try new things. And um, I guess that's really been what's helped me grow since I've been in Las Vegas as a performer. Magic is a storyteller's art. Sterling Dietz is a young man who is about 15 years old, who only started magic about 15 months ago by coming to one of my shows and then coming to one of my master class seminars. He got a few of my DVDs, put a little audition tape to the school, which wasn't really necessary, to just to see if he was good enough and he was really talented. And Sterling came down here, we worked on his act, and he went home and he worked diligently. And a few months later, he came back and he won the World Championship at the World Magic Seminar, first place, the Lance Burton Teen Magic Award. And uh, he's going places, so we're really proud of him. Last year at the World Magic Seminar, not only, not only Sterling, but Vinnie DePonto, young magician, a talking magician who does poetry and magic, as well as Jason Morrison, took uh, second and third place as well. So we, all of our students swept the teen magic competition. But we also work with adult magic uh, competitors and people that are competing on an international level. And every three years, there's a national, uh, international conference called FISM, the Federation International Society of Magicians, which is held once every three years. It's like the Olympics of magic. And I've had many competition winners come out of there as well. So what we do is we, we, we nurture the students' own individual talent and then let them shine. And we also continue to mentor them as the years go by. The best thing about teaching is watching your students' eyes light up when they get it, and then seeing them change. Because teaching, you know, is uh, 
Teaching magic is changing magic, one magician at a time. Well, I'm Jordan Wright, and this has been Hocus Pocus on Players Network.